السلام عليكم everybody okay uh, I'm doing a short video on how to get the step response of a particular system so let's say you have this uh, so this is a simulink file and this is MATLAB here so I will be writing commands here to get all or everything related to the system okay let's say you have this um, open loop system you have this step block and then you have the transfer function block which contains the uh, the dynamics of the systems and I have a scope at the end here so this scope uh, presents the output of a particular system so in this case for example if I connect uh, this block with this okay so if I do the connection and then the connection to this one and I run the simulation uh, of course here the simulation time here was 10 seconds I have changed it to uh, to 15 to 30 okay such that I will be able to see the response so if I double click on the scope I, I will be able to see the response let me bring this window up you can see it here so this is the response of my system you can see it's increasing throughout the entire time of simulation we can say that um, it's not a bounded output even though the input is bounded so it's the maximum value of the input is one the value of the output is still increasing or keeps increasing indefinitely so we can say that is this is an unstable system on the other hand if we uh, if we bring this input to the of the step to the closed loop system okay same thing for the scope so in this case i have the i have the step and i have a negative feedback unity uh, feedback negative feedback here this is the controller i have inputted as a transfer function so this is an analog controller and this is the scope if i uh, let's change the simulation time here okay. let's change it to 10 seconds run the simulation you can see this is a response uh, of course here I've changed the step time uh, to be zero not one okay I can have a step time of one run the simulation and the step response will be shifted by one second but I want to see the step response for zero okay so i will apply then run the simulation so this is the step response I, you can see that the output is increasing and it's set and it overshoot here at around 1.7 or 1.8 and then it settled down sometimes it's uh, it could, it's a good idea to see the the whole response for let's say a prolonged period of time more than uh, 10 seconds okay so this is what I will change here. So we will input, let's say, 3, 30, and then uh, run the simulation. And this is the response, OK? Uh, here I see that the system is stable, and it converts to 1. And at this time, I want to get the rise time, settling time, percentage overshoot, etc., etc. So to do this, uh, there are many, many ways, but the one of the um, most used ways is to use the uh, Simulink or uh, Two Workspace. Okay, there is a block called Two Workspace. Okay, we just need to bring it here and connect it to the output like this. Let's change the name of the uh, output. Let's name it Y Close. And then apply the changes okay and now let's run the simulation so okay okay here um, okay let's clear the workspace here let's clear everything here clear okay if i run the simulation so here the workspace is empty but if, if i run the simulation okay you can see here that i have an output as you can see it here this is this variable here i'm exporting it to the workspace 
it's the simulation output and this is if you double click on this one you'll get this window for which you have all the variables okay the total uh so usually this is the uh, time okay uh, and this is the output it's a time series data if you double click on it you will have time and data so time is the time signal and the corresponding uh, data for this time signal for example if we go back to the scope at time zero i have at time zero i have an output of zero etc etc if i go to time let's say 30 i'm having an output of one so at time 30 here in the graph you can see that i'm having a value of one at the output okay anyway let's see if we can get the step response um let's let's have step okay so first of all uh i need to know I need to uh, use the uh, I need to know how to use the step info function okay there is a step info okay and then I will write before of it I will write doc to be able to write, to read the documentations on how I would use the step info function okay uh, pressing enter I will be able to see the documentation of this so we'll bring it up to you. So this is the documentation of this uh, step info. So it computes the rise time, settling time, and other step response characteristics. So this is the syntax. Uh, so it's better to uh, not only feed it with the output signal, in this case, let's say Y, you should also include the time for which uh, this step output you are getting uh, so for example here you could only okay let's do it here so let's let's write step response step or step info of my my output so this uh, this output here okay so we could write out dot because it's a uh, uh, it's a signal but I have many variables inside of it I could uh, yes so I have you can see it here it's Y closed okay so we will write Y then press the tab it will understand that it is Y closed and then dot another dot to get the data here this data this uh, column here so I will write uppercase D tab this first one, closed parentheses, and this is the step response of a closed loop system. You can see it doesn't make sense. Uh, like settling time, so it's telling me that it's taking 22 seconds to reach the settling time, whereas I can see it here that settling time is somewhere near the 10 seconds. Okay, so settling time was. Uh, for which the step response settle uh, let's say below two percent of the final value okay so so here this is uh, somewhere the settling time not 22 seconds 22 seconds is in here so you can see this is not uh, a correct result so that's why we need to supply the as I said this one okay the the uh, the time okay you need to supply the time for which you apply your simulation so we will show it to you here okay uh so let's see here okay let's repeat the command of step info but instead of having my y here only i will have also a t so we will write a comma i have to follow the syntax so we have to use a comma and then I will write the same output out dot uh, y closed okay and then dot time okay and then I will press enter so here I, I have supplied uh, as you saw before 
I'm supplying, okay, let me get this one, yes, up. I'm supplying the output Y and the corresponding time T, okay? So I press enter here, I will get reasonable uh, step response, okay? So you can see here, um, the rise time is about 1.7 seconds, which is acceptable, okay? So rise time is between 10 and 90% of the, of the value. So we can say that here we have 10 or one or almost two seconds to get to 90% of the uh, final value. And here I have settling time of eight seconds, which is acceptable. Settling time is eight seconds somewhere in this uh, vicinity here. And then the peak or the uh, overshoot is 16%. I can see it here, it's 16, indeed 16%. Okay, I can see the results. You can compare the, this result with this result. You can see that if you supply the output, it would be, you will get uh, uh, very good results or an accurate results, in other hand. Okay, so this tutorial here, this short video is just uh, uh, an example on how to use the step info function and also how to use the uh, the two workspace so this is the most important block i'm exporting the the signal here this signal that i'm getting from the uh, transfer function or from the plan to the output i'm exporting it to the workspace using this block and i can i will be able to see it here and i can process it here and do all the necessary computations to it